All right, we're gonna listen to this a little bit. Um, we're gonna listen to a couple of minutes of this, but this is the actual live feed from the case of uh, a district attorney, attorney, uh, what you may call it, um, Fanny Willis. That's going on right now. Uh, you know, Konji is a bastard. Sometimes Konji will catch you in the wrong moment, even if you're not necessarily doing anything wrong, it can cost you a lot of money that's her they're going back to her right now it can cost you a lot of money and it can cost you reputation and all you needed to do is just satisfy small kanji but you know it can cost you a lot uh so i know we know from history that it costs men it can cost men a lot but it can cost anybody a lot to be honest with you if you participate in a kanji type of behavior uh within the wrong context all right so let me let me unmute this and then let's hear what they're saying let's see what she's saying D lunches with a couple of people that over the course of a year they paid i paid let, let, let me uh, prohibited source means we already went over this mr gillen mr mcdougall well you, you're on i have to i have to uh, lay the foundation here before i can follow up with my uh, next question I, I don't i don't know why you can't you have to well it's okay. already questions uh, have been made then voila, voila, voila. You are, to a 2022 disclosure form did not list any of the thousands and thousands of dollars that Mr. Wade li uh, paid for on trips that you were on. Objection. Isn't that correct? Objection, my Lord. Mr. Wade was paid that money back or he was paid uh, I will, the I will, I will. I got I you. bought the plane ticket or I paid for the hotel. The, there were never money that he gave me. That, that wasn't the nature of our relationship. You know, there's so many men, and Mr. Wade is one of them, where the nature of the relationship is they're just paying a woman. The nature of our relationship is companionship and friendship. Despite the way people would like to paint certain women, it's just not true. Final question. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Solitary documentary piece of evidence showing that you have withdrawn the cash to pay right. Thank you, Mr. Gillen. That's not accurate. Thank you. All right. So I'm just going to let that play in the background. Then I'll give you some updates of what's going on. I'm going to read some articles here so you can get a, a, a <laughs> so you can get a, a, a feel of what's going on. So I got you, D-Love. I got you. All right. Hit that like button. Share, subscribe. If you're just coming in, we're just getting started. Hit that like button. Let's bring everybody else into the room. So I'm going to read this from USA Today. It says, you don't have to yell at me to make me understand the clashes between Fulton County District Attorney Fanny Willis and defense lawyers repeated throughout hours of testimonies. Okay, so I'm not going to read everything there's in here. There's some live updates going on on this page, but I'm going back right now to show you uh, what happened. Okay. A television drama, Georgia District Attorney Fanny Willis agrees to testify in election interference hearing. Okay, so uh, she's involved in one of uh, Trump's cases in Georgia, and you're going to get some details about that in a second. And uh, there's some kind of, uh, this is about conflict of interest uh, with respect to uh, Konji and, and Wiku satisfaction. That's all, you know, it's not really a big deal, but they're making a big deal out of it. But let's see. Like a scene in the television drama, Fulton County District Attorney Fanny Willis dropped her refusal to testify in a hearing about her relationship with prosecutor Nathan Wade and dramatically entered the courtroom to testify as members of the audience gasped. Oh, she just changed her mind in the middle of... I'm ready to go, Willis said. Defense lawyers Ashley Marchant and Craig Gillen had been arguing that her testimony was crucial to corroborate wade's affidavit and testimony that willis reimbursed thousands of dollars in travels cost with him in cash okay so if it's done in cash uh, it, it makes it a little bit harder to trace all right in addition another witness said the relationship begun in 2019 rather than in 2022 as wade testified all right trump willis uh trump willis hearing is a game changer after his new york hush money hearing ended Trump began weighing in on the Willis hearing by posting clips of television coverage and adding sardonic comments. It's a game changer. Trump said in one truth social post. In another post, Trump said 
it is game over for the Georgia election case, but that is far from clear at this point. All right, let me go to the backstory. Let's see if we can get some things. All right. Hold on one second. Let me let me make sure that we're timing ourselves here, Jesus, before we go bonkers. Okay, there you go. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Give me one second. All right. So normally I would have prepared a lot of this, but you know. All right. So Fanny Willis, the district attorney of Fulte County, Georgia, is investigating whether Donald Trump. This is the background. Okay, this is what she was supposed to be doing. Investigating whether Donald Trump and his allies interfered with the 2020 presidential election in Georgia. In February 2021, a special grand jury was in paneled to investigate the case. The grand jury has issued subpoenas to a number of Trump associates, including Rudy Giuliani, you know that name, right? And Sidney Powell. Trump has denied any wrongdoing and has called the investigation a witch, a witch hunt. The case is going and it is not yet clear what, char what charges, if any, will be brought against Trump at the time that all of this is happening. Okay. All right. Now, there's more to this, right? Obviously, right? So now the issue is there is a scandal that is being, you know, you know how there's a case going against Trump and suddenly you start to dig up stuff and say, hey, wait, 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 wait. There's a guy that this woman is sleeping with. All right. And that's what we're talking about today. Okay. Now, I think she's claiming that it's, it's just companionship. I mean, the other issue is that she, I think she was married in the middle of all of this. <laughs> I think she was married, you know. So I'm gonna I wanna pull up some stuff. I'm trying to pull up some stuff for you guys so you guys can get uh, the full gist of what's going on before today, before what is what you're watching right now. Okay. Alright. So this is up to about th this is uh, a news from three weeks ago. It says no one is praising Fulton County District Attorney. Fannis Willis, apparent romantic relationship with Nathan Wade, an attorney in private practice, who she brought on board. She brought this guy on board as a special prosecutor in the criminal investigation and now prosecution of Donald Trump. is now prosecution of Donald Trump and 18 co-defendants. We have not yet heard that much of Willis' side of the story. However, based on what is known so far, it represents poor judgment, okay? By bringing somebody that might, you know, there's a chance <laughs> that you're doing something together, especially in the case of this magnitude, even if it's, even if a prosecutor's private life is generally none of the public's business. You know how people say, it's none of your business. And then you find out that ah, it's everybody's business. <laughs> Willis has already said publicly that she is flawed and imperfect in her public remarks at Bethel, AME Church following the allegations, but whether there were personal failings is not the operative legal test for whether Willis or Wade should be disqualified from the case. And accordingly, that question is not the focus of this essay. Prosecutors are human and they can, they can and do make mistakes. What is the mistake? So you notice that they're kind of like dodging the congee part of it right they're saying it's a personal relationship but what the the main issue from a legal standpoint here is sounding like it's more of conflict of interest right but why if it wasn't because of that would you call it conflict of interest the question here is whether willis and wade's apparent mistakes have any bearing if their personal relationship have any bearing on the election conspiracy prosecution in a way the law would require the removal from the case the motion filed by, oh, by the way, I'm reading from justsecurity.org. 
The motion filed by defendant Michael Roman seeks primarily to do just that, to disqualify. That's all they're looking to do, to disqualify Willis and Wade from further participation in the case. Under Georgia law, however, even if all the factual allegations regarding Willis and Wade were true, so nobody is saying it's true or false yet. They're just saying it's a it's question. There's questions to it. They do have some kind of personal relationship. If it's sexual, they're leaving that side out. But she's clearly just said that it's um, companionship and something, something, you know. All right. Companionship. I think she's married too. Anyway, uh, let's keep going. Any of the, uh, okay. There would be no basis for disqualifying them from prosecuting Roman or any of the other defendants in the election conspiracy case. The key point is that regardless of whether the factual circumstances involving Willis and Wade give rise to separate ethical concerns with respect to his hiring, such questions do not affect the propriety of the prosecution against Roman and his co-defendants. Questions about gifts and related matters go to Willis and Wade's obligations to the Fulton County District Attorney's Office and have no connection to assuring the defendant a fair trial. These allegations are as irrelevant to the trial as allegations in other situations that prosecutors took office supplies for personal use. Oh, they're saying there's no magnitude to it. Okay. What are the allegations? Georgia law recognizes prosecutorial disqualification in exceptionally narrow circumstances ones that are not alleged by the roman motion the roman motion argues that three primary alleged factual circumstances amount to a conflict of interest warranting disqualification even more extremely dismissal of the indictment against him okay so all of this is uh this is basically a call to 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 release them now to release what well, actually to release trump you know donald trump from the case. Georgia courts have resoundingly rejected romantic relationships between attorneys as a basis for prosecutorial disqualification. So the Georgia law does not support this. That's what they're saying here. And there's also allegations of uh, financial compensation between the two of them. Okay. All right. The personal travel by Willis and Wade, the allegations regarding personal travel together that Wade allegedly paid for also do not give rise to a conflict of interest warranting disqualification, although no case in Georgia addresses allegations of a similar factual circumstance. The principles that the Georgia courts have adopted strongly indicate the absence of a conflict of interest warranting disqualification. So that's what this case is about. They are trying to disqualify the two of them from the case. Okay. Now, let me see if I can get a little bit more clear cut um, statement of what actually happened. Okay. All right. Let's look at this. On January 8th, an attorney for defendant Michael Roman filed a motion seeking to disqualify the DA's office from the case be because of an alleged romantic relationship between Willis and Wade. They're still showing them, right? Yeah, they're still. The court filing, the, the court filing stated that because Wade paid for trips they took together, Willis benefited financially from the arrangement. Willis, an elected Democrat, hired Wade in November 2021 to help with her investigation into efforts to overturn the 2020 election in Georgia. Since a Fulton County uh, grand jury in August returned an indictment against Trump and 18 others, Wade has led the team of lawyers Willis assembled to prosecute the case. It was revealed that Wade has been paid more than $650,000 for his work on the election interference case. During a speech during Martin Luther King Jr. holiday weekend at a historic black church in Atlanta, Willis defended hiring Wade and suggested racism was behind the attacks on her judgment and Wade's disqualification. I'm reading from fox5atlanta.com. On January 25, Trump joined Roman's motion to remove Willis and Wade 
from the case by filing his own motion, which focused on Willie's speech at the church on January 14. Co-defendant David Schaffer has also filed a motion accusing Willis of engaging a pattern of prosecutorial forensic misconduct, which he says should disqualify not only her, but her entire office and prosecution staff. Although Willis and Wade initially kept silent about the status of their relationship, Willis confirmed a romantic relationship with Wade in a 176-page court-ordered response on February 2. The response was required before a hearing on February 15, which is what's happening in real time right now, in Fulton County uh, Superior Court on Roman's motion. Willis denies that she has benefited financially from hiring Wade. Okay, because if they're sleeping together, then all that money she's paying to Wade, right, is money they spend together. They're probably spending money together on trips and stuff like that. All right, so here's the headline it says multiple investigations underway. The controversy surrounding Willis and Wade triggered investigation and accusations from various sources, including Fulton County Commissioner Bob Ellis, the U.S. House Committee on the Judiciary, George, Georgia Rep. Marjorie Taylor Green, and the Georgia Senate. Fulton County Commissioner sent a letter to Willis on January 18 demanding documents to determine whether county funds paid to Wade were converted to your personal gain in the form of subsidized travel and gift. The U.S. House Committee on the Judiciary announced an investigation into Fulton. Oh, they went out, right? All right. The live event has ended. All right. Hold on. Let me just... Uh, we're going to finish the story. One second. All right. Brother Patrick, sir. Welcome, sir. Good to see you. Trump will definitely be prosecuted for election interference. It doesn't matter if Willis and Wade are disqualified. It is even an irrelevant allegation to what Trump is being tried for. I mean, the laws are saying that from a little bit of what I read earlier on. It looks like uh, you, you know, what the laws say is, you know, I bet it's gay. But, you know, it's still interesting to see some of these allegations hold on one second all right so now the question is if um is she married all right as fine as will is married i think some people said she's married but people can be married and and engage other people romantically speaking you know uh it's possible you know so uh because people sometimes separate and it is what it is right uh, let me see here. On the day she took the Georgia bar exam, Willis met Fred Willis, who was working an extra job at Videographer. They married in 1996 and have two daughters. They divorced in 2005. Willis said she has been in a relationship with Nathan Wade since 2022. Okay, so there you have it. So again, I'm not really seeing the, uh, you know, I'm not really seeing the, I'm not seeing the relevance to to Trump's case. But, you know, the real quite the reason why I brought this up today is, you know, romantic relationships at work. That's the real reason why I brought this up. You know, obviously, because it's also live right now. People are talking about it right now. You know, but romantic relationships at work. Um, is it advisable? Is it right or wrong? I think it's neither right nor wrong. <laughs> you know, uh, can he become a mess? absolutely and that's one of the examples you're looking at right now has it become a mess what do you think what's your take what do you think it has become at this point in time um the truth is that i always say this people will participate in bad good behavior as long as it feels right feelings being the key word okay feelings being the key word people will participate in good bad behavior if it feels right it doesn't matter especially if we're talking about a matter of quickus and congee and romantic relationships anything that involves you know that's emotionally driven people will do what they have to do because it starts to feel like it's a matter of survival at some point they will do what they have to do and you can judge them all you want okay 
Now, what can we learn from that? We should be self-aware, know that uh, we're just like everybody else, okay? We can be self-aware when it comes to that. Um, so when you're self-aware, that's half of the battle won. So even if your emotions is driving you, you can at least pivot or at least be wise, apply some wisdom uh, if you happen to fall for somebody at work, right? In a professional setting, you can at least be wise about it and make sure that the books are clean. Because... <laughs> If the enemy finds a small crack in the wall, you know, enemies uh, like Donald Trump, like the Roman guy or whoever that is, right? If they find that crack, they will drag you with the wood too. And that dragging will cost you a lot more than money. That's really the point here, okay? Even when they get into this call right now, they're going to drag, uh, their reputation is going to be tampered with, okay? Reputation, because I mean, these are legal professionals, right? Their reputation is going to be tampered with, and it doesn't matter if you're wrong. That's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't matter if you're right. It doesn't matter. That reputation, the court will not touch your reputation, but the public, uh, public opinion, will affect you. Now you're getting popular potentially for the wrong reasons. You know, so that's my take on that but i would like to know what your take is uh Mario says it is very relevant her and mr way's lack of discipline would have jeopardized the case see it's not about putting trump away that's a good point by the way marriott thank you so much for that it's not about putting trump away all right it's about making sure you put trump away how's that right you want to make sure you put in, uh, I don't know what the way means, away from the ballots, right? As you say that, right? If you, if that's your goal, is to make sure you put him away, you want to make sure that you don't want your pickles to be your goal ass messing with all of that. So even though I'm not going to stop people from falling in love with who they fall in love with, I, you know, there are options. There are options. There are also options of uh, uh, judgment, you know, uh, because already they are admitting to, you know, a terrible judgment on their part, right? Six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It's not. It's not. No be beans. Okay. It sounds better in pigeon. Six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. No be beans. Exchanging hands between two romantic lovers that are in, engaged in trying to put somebody away. You want to make sure you put them away. Then you want to make sure you separate that. Okay, because all of that will be questioned and it will be questioned in the future of cases. Your judgment also will be questioned in future cases. I keep telling you, this is how life works. It's not, you know, there's the right and wrong thing plays a very small role because that's why there's courts, you know, to address all the nuances and all the lack of character judgment to address all the, um, to address all the in-betweens like what if what if what if that's what they go there to do right so it is what it is you know uh that's an example so if uh i think if their behavior has jeopardized the authenticity of the case unfortunately um you know to you that may be sadly to you that may be like good <laughs> great i want to know where you are on that you know uh he hired a lover who was not qualified Come on, Bekus <laughs> DA. All right, so I'm, I'm, see, as I was, I kind of have an idea about the case, but I'm still going to learn more and we will continue to cover it as we see some relevant stuff come out of it. But this is an example of, you know, this is why they say, you know, if you're going to engage somebody romantically at work, we're not saying it's wrong, we're just saying you might want to be careful with that, you know, because you might think you're not doing anything wrong, but it's not really about you doing anything wrong. It's a little bit deeper than that. Emotions not your mate, but use your sense, especially at work, and don't expose yourself to the enemy. That's what I'm saying. You get this, brother Patrick. I'm just going to leave that right there. I want to know your opinions if you're watching this as a replay later on. And then uh, I'll be back in 20 seconds. One love enough, we done enough